Um, hello, um, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to assemble a bit of flat pack furniture. Uh, this bit behind me here. Uh, this came from IKEA. Uh, and although this is a fairly basic sort of project, uh, I hope after seeing this you'll get a better understanding of how to assemble this type of furniture uh, and maybe feel more comfortable about having a go yourself. Now when you start a job like this, choose the location carefully. I've decided I'm going to do it in the house on the carpeted floor and that will help protect uh, the various parts of this unit uh, from any accidental scratches. The next thing is to very carefully open the box. Now, if you choose to use a sharp knife, as I'm doing, uh, make sure you don't go all the way through the cardboard. I'm just using mine to cut through uh, the various bits of uh, sellotape. And before you throw any of the packaging away, make sure you've got the instructions and also the little bag, and it may be a big bag depending on what you're making, uh, of all the various screws and brackets and various fittings. And as soon as you've taken it out of the box, uh, just check to make sure there are no uh, imperfections or any transit damage to any of the bits and pieces, particularly uh, at the corners. Now, early on in the instructions, after all the safety precaution bits and pieces, uh, there'll be uh, a diagram that shows you which tools you need. And then there are some other instructions here which uh, basically tell you what not to do, what to do, you know, don't, don't do it on your own, get some help. That's not always necessary, of course. Uh, and if you're stuck, uh, you can always phone the IKEA helpline. Now this particular shelving unit is very simple uh, and there aren't that many components. But no matter what uh, unit you've got, always start by doing this. I divide all of the bits and pieces into uh, groups of the same item. So I've got these long screws here, these short screw things. Uh, there's a couple of plastic brackets in my case, a couple of metal brackets there, and two other sort of metal plates. And then uh, there's a, a little tool. Uh, there are some little plastic uh, feet, uh, which are on this sheet, and you push those out when you need them. And there's a little plastic bag, which contains these pieces of wood. Now these round pieces of wood are referred to as dowels. Uh, that's a common name for them, that's a dowel. And those are usually used for locating one piece of wood with another, and each will have a little bit of a hole in, this goes in, and that helps you get that piece of wood in the, or those pieces of wood uh, relatively uh, in the correct place. Now before we start assembling this and screwing uh, whopping great big screws like this in, it's important that I, I mention materials. Now most flat pack furniture is made from uh, composite materials like chipboard. And if you look at this end section here, uh, you can see all various little bits of wood that have been glued together in order to make up uh, this panel. Now, this material is really strong uh, when you uh, look at it in uh, this sort of situation where you might have a load there uh, or where it's part of a a panel of a piece of furniture. And the sort of thing you have to look out for is that when you screw a screw in uh, to this type of material, you don't try and tighten it too much. Now with this particular uh, flat pack piece of furniture, uh, there's a diagram that shows you uh, how all the components sort of come together relative to each other. And I've replicated that here. There's no need for you to do that, but it's a very good idea that you understand uh, where all the pieces fit relative to each other. So our first step is to take uh, two of these long screws uh, plus the little tool they supply and uh, assemble uh, one uh, pair of pieces. So this screw is going in from the outside here and I'm now going to use this tool to help it get going. And a, a good tip is, is just let the end of the screw uh, stick out through the hole a little bit and then we'll do the lower one. And by having those screws sticking out that has made it easy for them to find uh, the pre-drilled holes in these big long pieces. Now before you really get going, uh, this is the stage where you really do need to check uh, that you've got the pieces in the right uh, orientation. 
Now with this particular piece, which is going to be one of the side pieces, uh, there are some holes on the inside. So when you start screwing this up, make sure they're not on the outside. And similarly, when you're screwing uh, through this top piece, uh, the holes on my side have been countersunk. And here in this other board, you can see that countersunk hole. So that's on the outside. And here we are, we'll now start doing these up. Now, they should go in fairly easily. You shouldn't find uh, it particularly difficult at all. And take the first one up so it's just starting to become tight, but not too tight. And then operate on the other one. And you find that towards the end, it's starting to get uh, a little bit stiffer. And now this is where you have to now use a judgment as to how tight you can make these go. You'll start to feel it getting tighter and tighter and tighter. And it's harder and harder to turn it. But then when it seems to be getting no more difficult to turn it, it's probably tight enough. And the size of this tool is such that it is actually quite difficult to over tighten something like this with a, a tool with so little leverage. And so I'm tightening that up until I'm pretty satisfied that that is nice and tight. And the same with the bottom one. So that's nice and tight. Now the uh, part two of the instruction is to put uh, some of these uh, dowels into one of these smaller pieces of wood. It really is worth noting that um, in the diagram you're only using two of these dowels, although there are actually four holes. Uh, four holes, one, two, three, four. Um, but the only two dowels are being used. I don't know why that is. Maybe these uh, spare holes are for another purpose. I don't know. And you'll have to encourage this in. You can see I'm just giving it a little bit of a tap like that and until it's home. Now for this uh, particular piece, we've got to put four of these dowels in the end of this long piece. Now, if you find it quite difficult getting these dowels in, uh, you could perhaps use one of the uh, little metal pieces that are supplied uh, just to help spread the load so you're not squishing the end of your thumb. Uh, or uh, once they're in a little bit, uh, then you can very carefully push down uh, against the floor. But you have to make sure these are in a little bit first because otherwise there's a danger then you'll push them in at an angle and split uh, this end of the wood. You don't want that to happen. If you've got a little hammer, uh, you could tap them in very gently. And again, just like uh, the previous one, we're going to locate these at the start of these holes here and start pushing very gently. And now you look here, you can see that uh, these holes here are lining up uh, with this piece here. And indeed, that's our next task, is to take another one of these dowels. And according to the diagram, we're going to put one in at the top and one in at uh, the bottom. And that will, again, help locate this piece, which is already there. And again, I'm going to use this metal plate to help me push it even further in. And if necessary, you can turn it upside down and push it a bit harder, like so. So those are in. Now we're on step five, and we have to take uh, one of these uh, intermediate pieces and locate that on those two dowels and that's done very simply. Now, simple as this particular piece of furniture is, you do need to pay attention to the diagram. Now, we're at step six, and in step six, we're gonna put four dowels into the end of one piece of wood and just two into the end of the other. But it's important to know which is which. And I can see from this diagram that this piece of wood, this intermediate piece of wood, goes all the way from here to there. And that this piece is a separate piece from that piece. So the, the bit with just two dowels in is the individual piece. In my case, it's this piece here. And the piece which is gonna have four dowels is the piece that runs all the way through from one end to the other. So that one's having four and this one's just having two. So it, it really is important to look carefully 
at the diagram. So that those dowels are now in as they should be. And step seven is to put this side piece onto these four dowels which you see here. And it's going to fit inside this top bit. So I'm lining it up. Just do that so it's now just about there. And then the next stage is to take what will be the top or the bottom and we're going to first of all locate it on these dowels which are coming out from this intermediate piece. And step eight now is to take six of these long screws and we're going to use them to uh, put four in through this top or bottom piece into these uprights and uh, two of them from there into that upright there. Now again just in case they're not quite lined up just feel it gently and you should just start to feel it going into the other piece and it shouldn't be pushing it away or making it go into an odd position at all. I'm just stopping there and I'm going to put the other two in here and once you're nearly there you can then take them all the way in and remember don't over tighten them. The other thing to uh, be careful is that you don't slip with the tool and this sharp edge then makes a, a scratch across the surface because you really don't want that. Now don't be worried if you under tighten these because you can always give them a little bit of a tweak after everything is assembled. But if you over tighten them then there's no going back. And you can see this gap here start to close up as I get to the final stage. And finally we've got the two screws from the other end and sometimes you might find it possible uh, to put the uh, piece in an easier position so you're not having to scramble on the floor. It's not always possible, particularly when you're making things like wardrobes. And as that comes together, so that joint is closing up. And the same on this side. And then I'm just going to tighten it the rest of the way. And remember, you know when you're over tightening it because uh, the amount of pressure you need to apply suddenly starts to decrease. So just take care that you don't overdo it. Now as a little tip, uh, these pieces here and here and here and here are held in just with those dowels at the top and bottom. So when you've got it on a flat surface like this, do that, turn it over, and then do that. Make sure you haven't got any rings on when you do that. And that just helps to push those dowels in all the way. Now my unit is fitting into this alcove here and it's only going to be used to hold some children's toys. And so I'm, I'm not worried about it being overloaded and I'm confident that it doesn't need to be fixed to the wall. However, uh, it's recommended in the instructions that if there's a danger of a child or, or anybody else uh, climbing on it, that you use the brackets that are supplied in order to uh, fix it to the wall. Uh, and that's something which is c covered very clearly in the instructions. Uh, and now I can put uh, the toys in like so. Now with this particular uh, piece of furniture it's possible to get hold of some rather nifty little inserts which are in this box and here we are. Uh, they're uh, very very simple to set up. I just need to take off the protective wrapping and it's very very simple indeed. All we're going to do, uh, there's a zip inside here at the bottom uh, which you close like so, and then drop this bottom piece across and there you have a little storage unit which fits in there quite nicely. Now these are not terribly robust, these little inserts. Um, you wouldn't want uh, a child jumping up and down on it, but they're perfectly good enough to store toys in and things like that. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.